A group of Minnesotans are harnessing creativity for a cause. Highly Favored Magazine is a new grassroots arts movement highlighting diverse voices across Minnesota to open up the conversation on substance abuse and to lower barriers of compassion and understanding. And the first edition is out right now. So joining us, two of the magazine's co-founders, Jesse Vales and Drew Blake Stam. Thank you both for being with us today. We appreciate your time. Yeah, thank Thanks you for, for having, having us. us. Okay, so first of all, just tell us about Highly Favored Magazine. So, like you said, it's an art and writing magazine. Mm -hmm. um, we have visual artists, uh, writers who did editorials, interviews, things like that um, from all over Minnesota uh, and feature their work. So. What, what's the purpose of the magazine? What, who are you hoping this magazine will cater to? We're here to elevate the narratives of substance use and recovery people, uh, and we hope to gain a broader sense of compassion and understanding uh, for the greater community. Why was that important to you, too, as you started down this journey? Well, both of us have had our recovery journey. We're still technically in the early parts of it. Mm -hmm. um, but when you're first coming into it, it's really isolating. And there's a lot of stigma and shame um, that kind of trips you up in the mm -hmm. beginning. So yeah. I think if more people were understanding to that, there'd be less obstacles in people's way. Mm -hmm. So when you come to it, you say, you know what, let's create a magazine. What goes into that process? Because that sounds like this pie in the sky thing, this 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 great idea, but to actually do it, I mean, that takes a lot of work. Yeah. So it was yeah. six months. It was six, six months. months. We did a call for submissions. We posted around the Twin Cities. Mm -hmm. We got a great uh, turnout of submissions. Uh, so it was fun going through those. Art is so therapeutic and seeing a lot of people's heart and soul in their submissions. And it's been so great to be able to platform it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we kind of just went off of what each of our skills were. Mm -hmm. um, there's five of us in total who started this, and so we each kind of had something to bring to the table. Mm -hmm. um, so it came together actually relatively easily, despite how long it took us to right. do it. Right. Yeah. Well, certainly it's something that is near and dear to your mm -hmm. hearts. Talk about the, the title. It's Highly <laughs> Favored Magazine. What, what's the meaning behind that? Um, so when I was in early recovery, uh, and in and out of like depression and isolation, it was kind of a mantra for me. I am blessed and highly favored um, mm -hmm. to kind of remind myself that I still matter. Mm -hmm. And so we kind of wanted to extend that to people who can relate to what's in here. Mm. When you, when, when you, when, so the magazine, it's, it's, it's in the process of coming out right now. Mm -hmm. um, what are you hoping people, when they read through it, what are you hoping they gain from it? I really hope they, gain a more a sense of compassion mm. these first-hand narratives really give you really great nuances to the kind of thing we're experiencing here and there's so much stigma and shame out there so maybe breaking down those barriers to foster a sense of compassion mm. when you read through like when you read through it right do or the things you read through it and you're like wow i identify with mm -hmm. this part right here or this is something that i truly identify with yeah, I mean, whenever I look at it, it just gets prettier and prettier to me. Yeah. Um, it's like the first... Labor of love. Like, yeah. yeah, like big project that we've successfully done um, that I actually enjoyed doing. So mm -hmm. for me, yeah, labor of love for sure. Uh, but there's lots of good stuff. We have like organizations in the Twin Cities that we interviewed um, who do great work within the same field. Um, so I think there's something for everybody. Right. Yeah. For people who are perhaps on this journey of substance use or substance abuse, or for people that could be trying to help them, or mm -hmm. for people who don't know much about it. Mm -hmm. Right. Yep. Exactly. Right? To create that empathy there. Mm -hmm. uh, right now, where can people find it? You have the proof here, but mm -hmm. where can people, if they want to check this out? Sure. They can purchase it on our website at highlyfavoredmagazine.com. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you so much for being here. We yeah. appreciate you, you. We appreciate you being here and sharing your stories and being vulnerable because it takes right. you have to be vulnerable and be open to it. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, in order to help other people. So we appreciate your time. Thank you yeah. so much. For yeah. Thank us. you very much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For more information about how to submit your own stories, you can of course check out highlyfavoredmagazine.com.